Hello. Today I'll speak to you about one very common habit which all of us have that is of cracking the neck. Yeah, in most cases it's extremely satisfying. Some people feel it takes away the pain in the neck. But if you observe closely, even those people who feel that it takes away the pain, it's just a momentary satisfaction and within 10-15 minutes, the discomfort is back again and again, you're back at cracking your neck. So, is it something which should be really promoted? Are there risks associated with that cracking movement? The answer is yes. It's something which if possible, you should all avoid. What could be the risks? Let's start with the simple ones. First one would be, yes, if the force applied is too much, there could be injury to the muscles around the neck, could lead to spasm in the neck and could lead to pain because of that. If it is too much, it could lead to dislocation of the spine too. But that happens kind of rarely. But one of the most dangerous risks which is associated with cracking of the neck would be the possibility of a stroke. Yeah, a stroke. And I will tell you, in fact, I'll try and show you exactly why and how. So for this, I'll be using this model of the spine. And if you see the cervical spine, cervical spine means spines which contribute to the formation of your neck. So you have seven cervical spines. So it's named C1, C2 to C7. So the vertebral artery which supplies the brain enters and in fact traverses across the spine through a small foramen. So it starts at C6 and comes out at C1. So you have a foramen through which the artery traverses. Now in a normal case, yes, very that it would get injured because our neck is used to this movement. But imagine a patient with some spondylosis, with some small bony spicules projecting into that area. A sudden twist over here would cause a twist on the artery. And at times, yeah, accepted very rarely. But there is a possibility that there could be a tear in the intimal membrane of the vertebral artery. And that could lead to stoppage of blood supply to a specific part of the brain. And in some cases, it could lead to catastrophic damage to the brain because of that stroke. So, if you go through this video, I'm pretty sure you would realize that cracking the neck, mm. the satisfaction that you get out of it is just not worth the risk associated with these kind of serious injuries. So try and avoid doing that. Thank you.